Welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out Blackpink Boombaya. Kind of reminds me of Kumbaya, but yeah, yeah, I'm sure it's not gonna sound like that when we listen to it. Don't mind the shirt, it's a little see-through today because Reptar from Rugrats is green and so is the background behind me. All right, anyway, that's, that's all the intro we're gonna get. Let's get into the song. Oh, this is some DJ Snake vibes. DJ Snake is the guy that's responsible for the Turn Down For What song. Black pink in your area. Yeah. Black pink in your area. You're not in my area. You're not ne anywhere near my area right now. If you were, I might be like, yo, Mrs. Skeen, do you wanna do you wanna go see a K-pop group live? <laughs> and she'll be like, the hell? <laughs> Come on, it'll be fun. Uh Oh, I better I better turn on the subtitles. We started out in English and I, I was thinking I'd be good. All right, th this this is this is a club banger vibe. We already know. Come on. Also, if you're enjoying all the black pink reactions out there, uh, over over sixty percent of the people watching these videos are not subscribed, so please hit the subscribe button so you'll know when I react to more. It helps the channel, it helps me out, and I appreciate it. And let's keep going. All the guys with nosebleeds. That is like a whole Asian culture thing that doesn't really exist in the u.s but i knew it was japanese apparently it, it's possibly korean as well where guys once they're getting a little too uh a little too uh -huh, the, the nose bleeds i don't know where that comes from uh it's definitely not something that's in western culture unless we're applying it from eastern culture <laughs> This, this is such a danceable freaking uh, vibe right now. Gotta turn it up. Yeah, we're all feeling this vibe. It ain't just you, we all feeling the vibe. We got, we got the little conga line. Also, they're in punk rock style right now. And you know I love the punk rock style. That's worthy of a thumbnail moment. We gotta move me over here, but let's go with the yeah! If you like thumbnail moments, comment below that you like thumbnail moments. If you don't, comment below that you don't. It's up to you. Live your life. But I'm doing them. Yeah, th those, those punk rock outfits, though, life it's my favorite style on, on 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 women especially but also on men i think my favorite style on men are like really nice suits but they're not as comfortable to wear so then the close second is either like super colorful stuff like what i like to wear or punk rock and a lot of times punk rock if it's not on the gothic emo side has a lot of color to it so i think those kind of cross over Boom, bye, yeah. Woo! What a drop! Hey! Hey! They got the windmill hair and everything! Let's go! Okay, these moves are reminiscent of Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera in the 90s. Uh, the, the, just all of the most, like, boom, sexually spicy dancing that we don't see a lot in pop anymore. We see a lot of lazy twerking. We see a lot of uh, just just nonsense the very lazy non non talent required nonsense i like when the dancing requires talent like this shakira still be dancing like that though so shout out to shakira what was that <laughs> that reminded me of like uh native americans like the uh 
it was uh, inappropriate, but the stereotype where you'd be like, the Indians are coming at you like, oh, like that, that was like the thing that you did as a kid that, that your parents like that, that is, that is insensitive. Don't do that. <laughs> That's what that reminded me of. I have no idea what they mean in this context, but that's what that took me back to was getting lectured that that is not an appropriate way to uh, emulate Native Americans. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> Someone comment below what that's supposed to mean in this context. Go. I'm trying to figure out all of their names at this point. The one that does these raps, this is Lisa, right? Oh boy, if I'm wrong, they're gonna come for me. Nineties baby, you don't look like a nineties baby. Born in 1999, maybe. <laughs> uh, there's a good meme for that. It's like uh, the Anakin Skywalker from the prequel trilogy, and he's he's born in '99, and it's the Jedi Council saying, you know, we we recognize you on this council, but we don't grant you the rank of '90s kid. <laughs> uh, Star Wars stuff. If you get it, you get it. That's how I feel about about this. I'm like I don't know if you're you're '90s kid. I mean. Did you say 90s kid or 90s baby? I guess you're technically a 90s baby, uh, but not a 90s kid. Rambo. Rambo. I like that. Shout out Rambo, Sylvester Stallone. What is the, what is the back of this dress? Hold on. She like spun it around. It's just like an assless chaps dress. Yep, pretty much. I Oh, leather now. Nah, she got that leather and that punk, that punk on the pink Jeep. That's a vibe. That's an Avril Lavigne feeling. That's a vibe and a half. This whole thing has visually such a punk aesthetic. I am a sucker for this punk aesthetic so bad. Love it. I'm so glad to see any resurgence of anything punk. This, sorry, double pause, but this generation could use a little more <laughs> punk attitude and a little more uh, aspiration to be perfect. There's nothing wrong with aspiring to be like this, where it's like they, they're perfectly in shape, they perfectly dance, they're hot, they're good at what they do. We need to stop aspiring for imperfection. That's like the popular thing of this generation is, I want to be like that overweight person. Stop it. Stop it. Aspire to be better. Give yourself unrealistic expectations. That's not unhealthy. It keeps you motivated to be better. Ugh, I love, I love everything that this represents, to be honest. Be a punk. Get in trouble. Aspire to be perfect. Be sexy. There's nothing wrong with it. Come on. I think that's why when cancel culture tries to attack Korea and Japan, it backfires so bad. Because they're like, no, they're, no, nah. It's okay. I still don't know what that thing is. Uh, this synth also has a very Middle Eastern feel to it. Oh, now we're at the roller rink, giving me the, the, the 90s vibes of me at the roller rink as a kid. That this, this visual vibe is like everything to me. It's not my favorite song of theirs. I love this song, but... They have songs I like better, but it might be visually my favorite video of theirs just because it's so nostalgic to me. Oh my God, they got a lot of people at the roller rink now. All of these styles too, the bright colors mixed with the punk rock. 
It's making me want to go shopping again. I, every time Blackpink gets on this, I want to go shopping. And then Mrs. Scheme is probably looking at me like, no. We don't have money for you to go buy dumb clothes. I'm like, ah, you're right. Well, that was fan flipping tastic. That was a that was a pause filled romp because I was enjoying it way too much. Comment below what's the next thing for Blackpink I am checking out. Don't forget to subscribe so you'll be notified when it happens. And until we explore again, I'll see you later.